4, the Butte County District Attorney releases his findings to the deadly officer involved shooting that happened last November. Action News Now reporter Christina Vitale was at the news conference this afternoon. Christina, what did the DA have to say about this? District Attorney Mike Ramsey said the officers will face no criminal charges. G.D. Hendricks of Berry Creek was a suspect in a double homicide back in 2015. Ramsey said he was taken into custody but then released on parole. On June of 2018, Hendricks cut his GPS tracker and was on the loose. Then in November, while the campfire affected areas were still evacuated, a woman at the Yankee Hill hardware store spotted him. Officers went to the location and Hendricks was found sleeping in his car outside the store and demanded he exit the car with his hands up. Hendricks refused, and a car chase ensued. After spike strips stopped Hendricks' car, Hendricks crept out of the car without his hands up, and his body turned away from officers. Ramsey said Hendricks formed a gunman's stance while holding an object that looked like a gun but was a pipe, and five officers shot 29 bullets, killing Hendricks. Butte County Sheriff Corey Honey was at the conference meeting as well, and he said officers have, have to make split-second decisions. And considering Hendricks's stance and position he was holding the pipe, Honey said the shooting was reasonable under that circumstance. Coming up at 5, I'll have more information on the canine that was shot during the attack. Reporting live in Oroville, Christina Vitale, Action News Now. Christina,